guys, Scrappy People, it's Tracy Reed here today coming at you with day 12 of December Daily and this is a very simple video. Um, I did a, a little bit of prep work in Photoshop before I started. I have this photo that actually was not a great photo but really captured some of the magic of Christmas for me and so I actually decided that even though it was a gr wasn't a great photo I was going to make it nice and big and then just use some big elements to cover up uh, portions of it to just make it a big design element rather than a focus on the photo. So I'm creating a hinge here for this extended part of the photo so that it can open and close. And you can see I'm going to put my journaling on the flappy part of this photo and then just add a little bit to the outside edge. This layout is almost exactly Actually, I think it is real time. I just cut out a couple of parts where I went back and forth. So this whole spread only took me about 15 minutes, which was a nice break for from uh, the more complicated and crazy spreads that I have been doing. Um, I did some journaling about uh, my feelings on snow after living here for, this is our fourth Christmas in Tennessee, which I cannot even believe. But these, uh, I journal my feelings on having snow around Christmas every year and how magical it still is being a California girl who grew up where it definitely does not snow. And also this part of Tennessee, Knoxville, it does not really snow. It definitely snows more in other portions of the state, but it's just enough to lend a little bit of magic to this season every year. And um, we actually haven't even really gotten a lot this year. This was just quite a dusting that made all of the trees beautiful and white. You can see in the background there. Um, but it really didn't stick too much to the ground or anything like that. So I'm hoping for more snow before the season is up. But I have these two red uh, vellum hearts that I cut out on my silhouette from red vellum, obviously. And I have this tag that I created in my December Advent series earlier in the month. And it's nice and bright red too. And I thought that all of this red lent a nice fun pop of color to this sort of monotone photo. This paper is a digital paper from Kristen Cronin Barrow's uh, Santa Claus and Co collection, but it's just not quite large enough because it's printed at a six by eight and I need like a six or six and a half. Well, not for this, but I need like an 8.25 inch, um, paper to cover this whole flap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a traveler's notebook size paper from my stay home for the holidays collection at, in the background. And then I'm going to top it with this snowflake paper to also, I mean, obviously it covers up the whole flap, but it also lends a little bit more weight to this flap that, um, with the black. So I think I really like the way that that works together even more so than just I needed something to uh, cover that whole flap. So it works for me. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to trim off the edge and then I'm going to trim down the snowflake paper so that it's sort of matted on the black paper and it doesn't like it has a little bit more of the black paper showing than um, it would if I didn't trim it down vertically at least. Now that I've got that trimmed off, I'm just going to add some tape runner to the inside edge there. Perfect. Now I'm going to trim a little bit off of this vertically and then obviously trim it horizontally as well so that it's matted. If I can find my paper trimmer. <laughs> Ooh, the danger of real-time process videos. They feel so much slower, but you know what? Now you get a peek into how long it actually takes me to move around and do things. <laughs> so I'm trying to decide how far in I want to trim. Eyeballing it, of course, because who needs measuring? I'm only creating a YouTube video. Nobody needs to measure anything. <laughs> okay eyeballing where I want that one to be cut. Perfect. And look at that, it came out perfectly. 
<laughs> getting good at eyeballing. So now I'm going to glue this down and really simply after this, I'm just going to add on that tag. I think about adding other things. I debate adding like more titles, uh, but really it just, it says it all and I don't need to add anything else. Sometimes the simple road is the best road, especially since I've already got that tag all, you know, decorated and beautiful from the advent video. That is the the uh, benefit of doing my advent videos is I already have these pieces that are just ready for um, ready for my spread and I don't have to spend as much time when I'm working on my December daily thread or my December daily pages sometimes, not always because I don't use them for everything. So I do decide that I want to add in some of these foam stickers uh, as far as like the little icons. So I want to add in the um, hearts and stars and I decided to add stars to the inside and hearts to the outside. So I'm going to glue this down first. I'm going to do it right in the center and then I'm going to start adding in the foam stickers and also the foam adds a little bit more um, texture play. I obviously have vellum and acrylic and wood veneer and sequins on this page already. So why don't we add just another texture with some fun foam stickers, especially since there's only really vellum on the inside. So I'm going to add stars everywhere. Just a little bit of something something to add a little pop to this page. Then I'm going to do the same on the outside with the hearts. Okay, now, you, now you're adding too many. Nope, nope, all the nope. <laughs> I'm going to do the same on the outside with a few hearts. You can see I've added one already. Perfect. And then I'm going to... What am I going to do? I'm going to call this one good, I think, but I feel like I need something else on here. I do end up adding, once the camera is off and after, once I've taken uh, my photos, I do end up adding some string to that tag because it was bothering me a little bit um, that it didn't have string. I don't normally care too much, but most of the tags in this album are strung in some way. And also it is December daily, so why not add in all of the texture possible, right? So I'm gluing this to the back of the photo layout before it. And you can see, I don't like the tape that's on this ATG. Uh, I don't know. It's like the tape that came with it and it did not, it's not working well. So anyway, going to glue this down and then I'm going to call it good. So if you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you. If you don't already, you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm at Tracy M. Reed. I would love to see you over there as well. And I will see you tomorrow for another December daily video. All right. Thank you.